It's 12 o'clock, and you know what that means here in the Massiverse. Welcome to the Massiverse Undead Army Gamer. Thank you for being here for that pre stream hype. Hope you're doing well out there in Twitch land. We're going to get started with some tutorials today. So if you have any questions, that's what I'm here for. I'm going to do a test on the Bob Ross, the Bob Ross Rowell. Let me, let me know how the volume is. Test. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you Alien Ton X, how you doing? How you doing? All right, we're gonna close that. Close that. Uh, how was the volume on that that Bob Ross alert? Uh, also, I didn't see it. I don't know if it worked. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me get my paints. Yeah, I can hear you. I can actually hear what you're saying, Alien Ton X. Isn't that weird? That's kind of weird. But it's pretty awesome. I hope I don't get raided today. It's going to be kind of ridiculous if I do. Excellent. Great to hear, Alien. I have connected my consciousness onto Twitch. Your text is going directly into my ears. <laughs> see me? You see me, baby? You see me, meatball? Read what I type? Yep, yep, it does. Oh, it said read what you type, not read what I type. So if you spam a bunch of kappas, it's just gonna be like, kappa, 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 kappa. <laughs> All right, let me get some, uh, let me get a new paint in here. Let me get a new paint in here. Yeah, they are what burger, so I can actually hear what you're saying. That way I can keep painting, keep painting away. Kappa, Kappa Pride. It's, um, Der Babel, Guten Tag, Chrisor. How you doing, Chrisor? Uh, I can give you guys a little tutorial on how to set that up if you guys wanted to. Uh, today is all about tutorials, all about sharing it with you guys. How are you guys all doing, by the way? We're just getting set up here. I'm going to mute the microphone because I'm going to be shuffling stuff around, and then I'll get right back to you guys. Muting. That is exciting, Dino. I'm so psyched to, to see that. I'm really excited to see that. Hello, Taco is Tuesday time. How you doing, you amazing meatball? JT Penn, how are you doing out there? Muting again. doing an experiment today. We're going to ask you guys if you have any questions about how to art. Ask away. We'll do some tutorials for you guys. Teach you guys some stuff about painting. I was looking back at my old videos on uh, YouTube, the old videos I did. My very first broadcast uh, I actually found out was April 27th. Hey people. Hey Alex. How you doing? You amazing meatball. So I'm going to do some uh, tutorials today. We're going to do some tutorials on art, painting, drawing, whatever you guys have questions about. That's what I'm here for today. One thing I wanted to talk about is your brushes. Because something very important about your brushes, you don't want to get um, paint down here in the belly of the brush. That's where the, the hairs meet the, the actual brush head. You want to use the head of the brush 
damn love. A care box. Thank you for being here, you amazing meatball made of stardust. Let me show you guys some paint in here. Oh, my headphones. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right, we're gonna do bloom, blau, bloom and red. I can already tell that this experiment is, is gonna be really distracting, hearing everything that you're talking about. Oops, sorry, hit the mic. Show you guys as I put the paint on the plate here. The Blobinator. I, I asked you guys to name this on Twitter. Uh, my my paint my paint stand, which is basically a a plate on a tripod. <laughs> Actually, it is, it is that. It's not basically that. It is that. <laughs> so we're going to get a big blob of blue paint in here. Big blob of blue paint. And I was showing you guys finger painting the other day. Make sure you guys find non-toxic. Non-toxic. Always look for non-toxic paint if you're going to be doing finger painting. Uh, a lot of the times, the darker colors, like purple, black, are going to be toxic. So you don't want to finger paint with those. Uh, Dino, I'll check it out after the broadcast. What I love to do is uh, check it out after the broadcast because my broadcasts are short but sweet. All right. So another thing that you can do uh, with your painting, you can use a technique that Bob Ross likes to use. Oh God, I, I, I can't handle this. I can't handle this. The experiment has already failed. <laughs> No more, <laughs> that's already too distracting. <laughs> Let me get the chat up here so I can read you guys again. <laughs> it already started, it started off well, but then it, it's just too distracting hearing what you guys are saying. So one technique that Bob Ross used a lot, he used a technique called a la prima. I believe that's how you say it. I think it's an Italian phrase which means wet on wet. So you can have a wet surface and then you paint paints on top of it. It'll, it'll blend things, it'll smear things really nice. Oh, Technoxic, enjoy your stream, my friend. Thank you for stopping in here saying hello. So what you could do to get your canvas wet is you could use a brush and spend a bunch of time picking up water and going on top just continually doing that. I like to use the spray bottle. Gets a nice even wetness all over the canvas and then I rub it into that canvas. This is gonna do uh, two things for you. It's gonna allow you um, to blend those colors all over the canvas on the wet surface. And it's also gonna stretch. You can already hear it. It's already stretching that canvas with the water as it evaporates. So it's serving two purposes, really great way to uh, start off your canvas. Uh, and that's on a stretched canvas where the, the bars, the wooden bars are taking that canvas and stretching it around. <laughs> was I messing up proper artist chat? Oh my gosh, that was loud. Sorry about your, your ears, you guys. Uh, Undead Army Gamer, absolutely. We're accepting all forms of Kappa, whether you're a streamer, a, a viewer. We would love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. So with that spray bottle, I sprayed water on here. That's going to tighten up. You can hear it. It's kind of like a drum. It's tightening up that canvas. It's going to give a really nice surface for whatever we're going to do. I don't even know what we're going to do here. I'm going to start off with something weird here. We're gonna go abstract today. And you can see the, um, since I'm painting wet on wet, you can already see it start to fade, start to blend. You get these really cool effects on top. You can get like a ghostly effect with a very light touch or the harder you press, uh, the, the paint will get on there. So varying your stroke on the wet canvas gives you a lot more variation. See, look how nice that looks. And then the, I just press just a little harder and the paint goes right on there. Blue smears, yes, blue smears. You know what? I'm gonna do a landscape today. We're gonna do a landscape today. 
Maybe this is a lake. Yeah, this is going to be a lake and a plate. So if you guys have any questions, this is Tuesday tutorial day. So if you guys have any questions about perspective, color theory, uh, composition, how to talk about your work, critiques, anything that you guys have questions about. I also wanted to talk a little bit about uh, how to stream, because I know there's a lot of artists out there that love streaming, but haven't done it yet, haven't tried it out. It's actually really easy to set up. What burger? I do like the blue. The blue. I do like the blue. Blue is my favorite color for underpaintings. Um, I, you know, I don't really have a reason for it. I think it's just my favorite color. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> so like always, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cover up all that white space, even if it's with white paint. And we're going to do a landscape today, kind of like a Bob Ross style landscape today. I like working fast and with big strokes at the beginning, and I also like to hit that plate to make sure you guys are awake. <laughs> uh, Alex Street, yeah, OBS is the program I use. Um, there's a lot of really uh, awesome programs out there. There's XSplit as well. Unfortunately, you have to pay for that one or use the, uh, the lower quality uh, free version. OBS is really nice uh, for starting out. It's really easy to set up. I have a few tricks and tips that I can share with you guys today uh, about setting up your OBS, getting your stream going. I'm not, uh, I'm not a professional streamer. I've only been doing it for about two or three months, but I have researched it a lot, played around with it, failed a lot. That's that's what it's about. All right, so what we've got here, here, I'll get, do a little step back here. So we've got a landscape. I'm gonna have a mountain up here on top and like a lake underneath. Maybe we'll make this lake go off the edge like that. We've got that lake there. Oh, I almost unplugged my webcam. That would have been disastrous. All right, so we've got that in there. Uh, let's get the mountain kind of fleshed out a little more. Um, we're going to pick the light source. Always good to pick the light source at the beginning of your painting. Let's say the light is coming from right there. So the light will be hitting, uh, it'll be from the left side. So all the left sides of these surfaces are going to be highlighted and the right sides are going to be in shadow. Always pick your light sources. Stay consistent with your light source throughout the piece. And you can have multiple light sources. Maybe there's a sun up here as well as like some street lamps or something. So you can have multiple light sources, but make sure you always stay consistent. Oh yeah, I absolutely agree, Alex. Um, XSplit is really confusing at first. OBS is, is literally uh, clicking on the button, hitting add video and add window capture, and you're done. You can play around with all the settings as much as you want, but uh, you can get it going really, really fast. And there's things that you can play around with, like the audio sync. I find that um, to make your... Oh my gosh, we already got a follow. Arawast, Arawast, how you doing, you amazing Stardust Meatball. Thank you so much for coming in here, dropping that support. Welcome to the Massiverse. We're doing Tuesday tutorials, so if you guys have any questions about art, please feel free to ask away. Alien, thank you so much for that host. This, the, the, uh, the OBS. Here, I need to turn this down. I need, I need to turn it down. Boom. There's the host. Thank you so much for that host, Alien. Thank you for the recur recursive Bob Ross. Uh, you sent it there, Undead Army Gamer. Uh, my Twitter? My Twitter? 
Arawash, no, it is my pleasure that you are here. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy you stopped in. Said hello. You are incredible. And together in the Mossiverse, we can create anything. I like how the experiment I, I, I was trying out only worked for like five minutes. <laughs> Did not work. <laughs> How are all you guys doing today? How's your week been so far? It's Tuesday. I'm starting something new on Tuesday called Tuesday Tutorial. X Ashler X. How you doing, X Ashler X? You incredible stardust being. Oh, Sir Jinx, absolutely. I love supporting my fellow streamers. And I know Death, Death gave you a shout out last night saying that you're a new streamer. I love supporting the new streamers. So thank you for coming in here, hanging out with me, and thank you for streaming. I believe you're you're a creative, um, creative guy. I didn't see any past broadcasts for you though. Good. Oh, you're good. That is that is very good. Good to hear you are good. All right, I'm just gonna do some quick shading on this mountain here. And this is all an underpainting. We're probably gonna paint over pretty much everything, but this is a way to lay out the composition, have fun. Let's see. And I'm using big brushes. I love starting off with big brushes and then going to the smaller ones. That way you're working kind of low resolution, but you're able to work really fast which is what I like. I like working fast. A variety streamer. Okay, okay. <laughs> awesome, Sir Jinx. Awesome. Oh, I Sailor Venus. Hello. How are you doing? I am doing great. It is an amazing day to be alive to share it with you guys. So thank you for being here. How are you doing? How are you doing, I Sailor Venus? All right, we got, we've got two mountains in the back here. I like three mountains. Let's do three mountains. We'll do a third one right here. There's all sorts of rules that people try to apply to paintings. Uh, there's one rule called the rule of, of thirds, where you can either divide your canvas up into thirds or use um, three objects all around. I just like the way that that looks. Chain to your desk studying for exams? Well, I hope I can inspire you as you study. We'll have some piano music and some soothing happy tree voices for you. All right. Uh, finish the portrait. Uh, which portrait are you talking about? The Kappa or uh, the Commission? Both of those are actually not done. I gotta keep working on them. I did. I did post the the work in progress though, because I'm trying to get um, more stuff on my Instagram. I'm trying to be all savvy, internet savvy. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are all here. By the way, thank you guys for hanging out with me here in Twitch land. Hagrid Mona, how you doing, Hagrid Mona? You are an incredible stardust being. I'm so glad you came in here today. Guten Abend. The commission, yeah, I can show you the commission, absolutely. I'm still working on it a little bit. Still working on it. I wanted to fix up the eyes a little more and add some more reflectivity to the teeth. Uh, as well as deal with, see that where that yellow line is at his head? I want to start fading stuff out into the background and make his head a little smaller, so there's still some work to do. Maybe another two hours or so. Hehehehe. <laughs> And Hagrid Mona, I'm doing great. Thank you for so much for asking. Hope you're doing well out there in the Twitch land. All right, I wanted, we want like this to be kind of a sunset or a sunrise. 
So what color should we do the sky? We could do it kind of a gradient of like yellows, oranges, and reds. It could be purple. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys have suggestions on the sky color here? Falzi, how you doing, Falzi? By the way, Falzi, Hagrid, Mona, Dare Bobble, thank you guys so much for making those kappas. I'm so excited to see um, the kappa mosaic with all of them together. <laughs> All right, for funsies, for funsies, what I'm gonna do, we could do a yellow sky, we could do a yellow sky. For funsies, I'm just gonna add some really quick waves in here to give a sense that this is water. Really fast, really fast waves. And like always, I'm starting with big strokes, lots of color, we can always edit later on. That's how I like to work, is I like to edit as I go. And we're not spending too much time on the details. You want to spend, uh, what I like to do during the beginning of a painting, I like to make sure that I'm addressing the entire canvas. So these areas of white are the first things I want to do before I start working on all the details. Oh, Alex, that sounds really cool. I wonder what, how that would work. Would you have to get satellite, pardon me. Would you have to get satellite uh, internet or something like that? So we're going to do a yellow sky in here. I'm going to get a new brush so that it doesn't turn green. It was not a bad hammer. This is a place of positive creativity. And also, I don't share a lot of personal information out there. It wasn't a ban. It was a timeout. So please feel free to come back, but also make sure you read the rules. All right, yellow, yellow paint. So we got yellow, uh, we're gonna do yellow into yellow ochre into an orange. I think that's what we're gonna do. That's way too much yellow, but whatever, whatever. We're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. All you incredible human beings made of stardust out there. Do we really have 29 amazing Stardust meatballs in here already? You guys are incredible. Incredible. So I'm not going to uh, bring that yellow all the way down into the blue uh, quite yet. It's gonna turn green. So I'm just gonna do it a, a little bit above here to get that sense of color. And I'll mix it with yellow okra. Yellow shots. <laughs> do you guys wanna do some yellow shots? Oh no, it's the wrong way. <laughs> it doesn't work. Now what do I do with this yellow on my fingers? We'll put it on the canvas. We'll put it on the canvas and on my shirt. Why not on my shirt too as well? Why not? <laughs> oh, Alex, that's incredible. I wish I could uh, get that. I wonder if the internet's gonna be fast enough for uh, streaming. Especially if you're moving around, if you're driving, but that would be really cool. I think you'd be the first. You would be the first person to uh, to uh, travel, drive while you're streaming. I'm I'm almost hundred percent sure of that. Yellow ochre. So if you guys have any questions about art, what we're doing today is we're doing Tuesday tutorial, a new thing I'm trying out. Where if you guys have questions about color theory, perspective, the artistic process in general, that's what I'm here for today. So we're doing yellow, we're gonna do a yellow ochre, and then I'm gonna fade it into an orange up here. Can you guys see that? You guys can kinda of see that. Junior8096, how are you doing? Please read the rules before you start interacting in chat. If you do, become a negative force in the Massiverse, you will get a timeout. You're welcome back, but please make sure you read the rules. 
This is a positive place of creativity where we don't worry about the pursuits of the flesh, only the pursuits of the mind. Ten megabytes up? What, Alex? What? You must live in uh, like Denmark or or like Korea or something where their internet connection is incredibly fast. That is awesome. I don't even have 10 megabytes up. <laughs> if you guys are new here, I'm Monkey on Strike or Moss. Today we're going to put on the Bob Ross Fro. If you guys have questions, we're going to talk you through some happy paintings, some happy trees. Just finished orientation uh, for next year for your football, Junior. <laughs> oh, Alien, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I'm just happy you're here hanging out. I like to be fast on the draw. I like to be quick draw, quick draw moss to make sure that it doesn't bring other people down as well. Frutchtenson, hello again. How are you doing, you amazing stardust being? Hope you're doing well. It is an amazing day to be alive. Thank you so much for coming in here, spending a little time with me today. I hope I could bring a little happy trees into your life. Oh my gosh, Alex, can I move to Romania? Can I move to Romania? I want your internet. <laughs> oh, oh man, Undead Army Gamer. Fresh air, fresh air is always good, but cigarette smoke is not very good. <laughs> oh, Kevin Zarate, thank you for those kind words, man. Thank you for your confidence. That's going to help me through this painting. And if you guys have any questions about it, what I'm doing right now, I'm doing kind of a fade from this yellow into a yellow ochre into an orange to get that kind of sunset feel. And I might even want to make it a little darker over there or we'll just put we'll just put the sun right here in the middle. That'll make the uh the gradient actually feel like it's coming from the sun. Smacky Doodle, you should totally get back into painting. It's really easy, you can have fun with it. You don't have to worry about what it's gonna look like when it's finished. That's something I always tell people, just have fun with each brush stroke. Don't worry about the finished product. And stay positive. Is there any way to check out the Nicolas Cage page? Uh, yeah, let me show you. Let me show you. Wait, where'd I put it? Where did I put it? Found it. We got a death sculpt in here. How you doing, death sculpt? Spreading the rainbow love. We worked on this one yesterday with uh, with chat. You guys picked the two colors we used. Then you picked the shapes. Then you even told me to put Nicolas Cage on there. So we did this one for funsies. Had a lot of fun with this, making this with you guys. This is all thanks to you. And you guys, please do me a favor. There are some amazing broadcasters here in the channel today. We have Alien Ton X who works in Perlers, Death Sculpt who does sculpting, drawing, and painting. We've got Proper Artist who does oil painting. Please give them a follow. You will not regret it. They are all super, super entertaining. They all have their own way of doing things. <laughs> Fruchtenstein, thank you. Proper artist, I know you're joking, but try to keep it positive. I know you're joking, but other people might not know. <laughs> All right, so we did our sky. Uh, this is still a little wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for that blue to dry before we bring that yellow all the way down. I don't want to mix greens on here. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go all the way down here. 
we're gonna do this one right here. Uh, Kevin Zarati, I don't have any animal paintings. I really need to start doing some. I've, I've done like a turtle. Uh, I did a turtle on stream. I did, um, I've done a painting of my dog, Samus. Uh, let me see. I think that's about it. I haven't done too many. And I wasn't yelling. I wasn't yelling. I was just reminding you proper artists. This is a place of positive creativity. And even if you're joking, you want to make that a positive joke. Ron Freeman. How you doing, Ron Freeman? You amazing, amazing stardust being. All right. So what we're going to do down here, I think I want to bring in some, some purplies. We're going to do some purple color in here. <laughs> that face is hilarious, Death Sculpt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's wolves. Wolves at my door. I actually checked him out the other day. He was on um on Creative. I gave him a follow. Really cool dude. Oh, let's go big brushes. We're not going small yet. I'm not going small yet. Oh, that's awesome, Alex. That, that That's like kind of the area I live in now. It's very laid back. No one really cares um, about who you are, what you do. Dig Lebowski, how you doing? How are you doing? Let me get the music going. I don't know why the music stops. Your W? Your W? Um... Yeah, feel free to tweet it to me, Death Sculpt. I don't allow links in my chat, and I'll check it out off stream. I would love to see it. Wait, we're getting yellow. No, we were gonna do purple. We're gonna do purple. Okay. We're doing Tuesday tutorial here, Digglebowski, Ron Freeman, all you guys who just joined us. If you guys have any questions about art, maybe it's a project you're working on, uh, you need some specific help. We're not going to take a look at it, but we are going to help you out with any questions about color theory, about art. Oh, Desculpt, you should totally, totally tweet that to me. I'd love to see it, but unfortunately, I do not allow links in my chat, even from people I trust. It's a precedent. A precedent. All right. Getting all purple in here. So let me see. We're gonna we want this horizon line right here. I want I wanna highlight that a little bit. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Bring in this horizon line. And then maybe we have a little coast here next to this lake that we're making. And we'll also bring this in shadow as well. At the beginning of your painting, you're not worried about details. You want to worry about how your eye is going to move around. So each of these lines is pretty much saying your eye is going to follow this line, follow that line all the way around the painting. That's how you can work on the composition. You can work on where things are going to go at the beginning of your painting. I have some fun with violets in here. Uh, if you screw up, let's say, painting over a line, one really th nice thing about painting, especially with acrylic paints, is you can paint right over the top. You just have to wait a, a, about five minutes. With digital work, you can do it instantly or use the undo button. And with something like oils, uh, you can also erase. You can take your, your rag, pull off that paint, and then redo it. There's also, also, also a method. There's also a method... Um, where you make a line, but it's not going to be your final line. You can come over the top here and kind of edit where you want that line to be. So with painting, you want to think about layers. And Double Brian, by the way, hello, you amazing Stardust Meeple. How are you doing today? How are you? Hope you guys are all doing well out there in Twitch land. If you're lurking, give you lurkers some love out there. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, I'm Monkey on Strike. 
feel free to say hello, especially in your native language. And also, ask me any questions today about art, the process, how to make your paintings amazing. We're gonna make this mountain all the way over here. Maybe it's a volcano. <gasps> kind of looks like a volcano right now, you see that? I think I'm gonna make this a volcano. Uh, absolutely, Alex. Uh, with oils, you're gonna have to wait uh, anywhere from a few hours, like maybe four or five hours, uh, as well as um, if, if it's really thick, up to a few weeks, possibly. Ugly Fapper, uh, you, I believe you were you were timed out for uh, a little hateful speech. Even if it's even if it's supposed to be a joke, I do like to keep it positive in here. I editorialize the content. You are welcome to hang out here, and I'm so glad you're here. But that was just a warning to say, please keep it positive and clean. You can read my rules below in the uh, the info. Good Abend. <laughs> Uh, what burger? Uh, so the advantage of oils is the fact that it doesn't dry instantly. The fact that this blue is already dry or mostly dry means that I can't come over the top here and blend. With oils, you can blend all over the place. You can blend pretty much for days at a time or even weeks if you don't use medium and you use a lot of uh, oil paint. So a lot of people like oils because you can keep coming back to the painting, especially if you're doing realistic work like Val Dudes. Uh, you can keep going over the top of it. D2 the Ario, how are you doing? Dino, Kevin, uh, Scythe, thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are all incredible, incredible meatballs made of stardust. And Dino, you know what all it takes is picking up that brush and putting it towards a surface, whether it's a canvas, a wall, a piece of paper. All it takes is just trying it out, having fun with it. And that's what I'm here for. If you have any questions about how to do it, that's what we're talking about today. Oh, he only started doing oil recently? No way. I don't believe that. Val Dudes is, he's doing too much awesome stuff with oils. You can almost paint with anything. Scythe, Scythe Lament, Scythe Lament, thank you so much for that follow. You incredible stardust being. Thank you so much for being here today, throwing me that support. Oh, that's awesome, Dino. That is really cool. It's 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 amazing when you get um, that feedback on your work. Um, I w uh, recently I posted that Kappa mosaic and the actual Kappa retweeted it and followed me. I was I was giddy giddy all day, totally giddy. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get some white, some purple in there. We're also gonna have some spots of color over here, maybe just a few. I'm not worried about anything right now. I'm just having fun, kind of throwing colors around. And you wanna stay consistent with the light source, so the light is gonna be coming from the middle of the canvas here. Actually, you know what? You know what, we're gonna make the, the sun on the very edge here, so it really casts that light all the way onto the side here. Looks like an ice lake, ooh. Maybe it's a volcano, a volcano in the, the Arctic or something. Oh, 16 armed, please feel free to tweet me. I would love to see it. I don't allow links in my chat, but I would love to take a look at it off stream. Also, if you come back on Friday, we're going to be doing something called Feedback Friday, where I talk about your work, I give you guys inspiration and especially blatant praise to keep you going and that with that constructive critique I want to give you a way to keep going with your work as well as make your next work awesome. <laughs> Thank you Scythe. Uh, we use three colors up there. It's just yellow, 
yellow ochre, and then red. And the, the way you get that kind of effect is you do the first stripe, you do the second orange stripe, and then you get it darker, and then you can just go over the top and blend before it dries. Thank you so much for your kind comments. Oh, I missed something. Um... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the, actually, I really like working with acrylics because they're fast, they dry fast. I like to work fast. Val Dudes has the patience to work on, on one painting for, for months. I think he was saying that one of his paintings took about a year to work on, and oils is perfect for that. Uh, 16 armed, I am excited to see it. And you can you can send it to me now, uh, that way I'll get it, and right when you pop into the stream, we can talk about it. I'm so excited to take a look at it. By the way, who out there is a is an artist? You can be a sculptor, you can be a painter. Raise those hands up if you are an artist out there. Because even if you even if you draw, even if you doodle, you're still an artist. I'd love to see how many artists we have in the chat here. Yeah, years a long time. Oh, Scythe, thank you for that host. Thank you very much. And now it gets quiet. There's the music. All right. So this is a volcano, so we're gonna flatten that top part. I'm gonna flatten that top part. We're gonna have some smoke kind of coming out of it. And then all of this yellow and orange is gonna pick up on that smoke. Smack Doodle's an artist. <laughs> Dig Lebowski is an awesome artist who did a really cool, really cool uh, Kappa. You guys should give him a follow. He's also broadcasts on Twitch. Random to Husky, how you doing? You amazing, amazing human being made of stardust. Oh, Kevin's around. Even if you even if you think that you suck at it, you can still call yourself an artist. Have that confidence, because then that confidence will spill over into your work, and make you a better drawer, a better drawer pencil artist, I guess. <laughs> I've never actually figured out what you call someone who, who draws. Is it a drawer? A, a drawer or someone who draws, I guess is what it, what it will be. It's his fancy TV. Follow the call of the Stardust Meatball Fancy. Thank you so much for Here's that. That was that was so awesome. Oh, it's reading it. Universe. Stay spicy, meatballs. Stay spicy. <laughs> Thank you so much for that donation. Wait, no, that's a toxic paint. Let's get a non-toxic paint on here. Yellow. Thank you so much for that donation. Ten dollars, ten human American dollars. Uh, Digglebowski, actually, so there's about four people that have made Stardust Meatball songs. You can check it out on my website. Wall of Support. You can check out all the songs people have made on my website. That one was made completely improvised. Really great song. Fancy Smancy TV, thank you so much for that. Everyone, please do me a favor. Get some fancy schmancy TV hype in the chat. Click his name, give him a follow. It's just two button presses. He's an amazing guy. He does some really cool stuff on Twitch. He also is a great supporter of other artists on Twitch, like Z Lady Luthien. And now me. I feel so honored you came in here, dropped that support. You're a husky made of stardust. Yes, you are. Oh, no, you broke your leg the other day. Oh, no, random. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, this is a great time to pick up painting or drawing because you're going to be, unfortunately, you're going to be stuck for a little while, but it's a great time to express yourself through other mediums like art and probably even music. I don't know if you're a musician. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, Z Lady Luthien, there she is right there. That that's her right there. And if you don't I don't think you guys have seen this, the Tiger Rider portrait I did. I don't know if you guys know who Tiger Rider is. He's also another amazing broadcaster on Twitch. He was the first portrait I did. Hello, maybe one. How you doing, you incredible meatball being? Wow, this yellow paint is not drying. This yellow paint is not drying. <laughs> Here we go. A 21st century Bob Ross. Thank you, Fancy. I do try to channel him. I do try to channel the Bob Ross whenever I can. Because he, he was an incredible inspiration uh, for me to become an artist. Really awesome dude. Always with the positive vibes. Midnastar, how you doing, Midnastar? I, I checked out your broadcast today. I was only able to check out a few minutes of it, but I'm so happy that you're here hanging out with us. Hope you're doing well, Midnastar. <laughs> Regret truth, how you doing? You amazing duder made of multitudes of star matter. Am I using that word right? I use all these big words for fun. I think I'm using multitudes wrong. <laughs> fanning myself. Yes, I'm fanning myself. I'm trying to get that paint to dry. It's still wet. It is still wet. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys are having a great day out there in Twitch land. Is Star Matter a thing? Absolutely Star Matter is a thing. Absolutely. In fact, Star Matter is everything. Everything is Star Matter. Multitude means large number. Thank you, Minda Star. I thought it had something to do with um, people for some reason. <laughs> yeah, what burger? His his broadcasts on PBS were really long. I'm I'm surprised he he could do it for so long. If you guys have any questions, today is a special day. It's the first day I'm trying this out. Tuesday tutorial. If you guys have any questions about art, the artistic process. It's a little different than Feedback Friday. We're not going to take a look at your work, but if you have specific questions, today is the day to ask. I'll give you guys tutorials and stuff to help out. Ricochet Hex, how you doing? You amazing Stardust Meatball, you. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> you, you redid the icon. Uh, maybe. I am excited to see it. Please tweet me. I would love to see it after the broadcast. Love to see it. All right, guys, I'm going to take a little stretch break here. Always take a stretch break. Put your paints down. Not only is it good for your body, but it's also good for your mind to stay fresh, to keep, keep that motivation going. It's also a good way to get out of that posture because a lot of times painters will get into this kind of posture like this. You want to open up those shoulders. Open up the shoulders. And don't forget to breathe. A tree paint Thursday. Oh, that's actually a good idea. I'm terrible at painting trees, so that'll be a great way for me to, uh, to get better at that. What burger? Oh, Ricochet Hex, thank you so much for that lurk. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate you guys being here. Let's get some lurker love in the chat. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put some hearts in chat for lurkers. All you lurkers out there. Thank you guys. For all you people lurking, listening, thank you for being there. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Music stopped. There is the music. Rip. Uh, did the stream die? Did the stream just die? I think we're good. No dropped frames, connection is good. We've still been live. Uh, let me know if the stream is okay. Oh, 
Oh, Undead Army Gamer. Yeah, you should definitely get a, a painting stand. You could also make this. Check out this. Check out this. It's a tripod, like a $10, $15 tripod with a plate and duct tape. Really great way to stand up. Dino, Miss Cookies is anything but scary. She is an incredible Stardust meatball. Actually, she's a tofu meatball. Dream's great, nothing wrong. Okay, thank you, Scythe. Thank you so much. Unico! Unico, thank you for that host! Thank you for the recursive Bob Ross. You, sir, are an amazing meatball. Unico, say hello in chat so everyone here can give you a follow. Please say hello. Unico is a great broadcaster here on Twitch. He does drawing. I'm trying to get him to do some painting. Either oil or acrylic. Really awesome dude. <laughs> and if you guys do follow him, unfollow and refollow him. He deserves it. He deserves that love. And I'm always asking you guys to uh, to follow these broadcasters because these are the broadcasters I watch and love. So you'll often see me in their channels hanging out, having fun, or making fun. Unico hasn't said anything. We can't follow him if he doesn't say anything. There he is. There's the Unico. Give him a follow. It just takes two button presses clicking on his name. Uh, you can also follow him. Here, I'll type his thing in chat here. Twitch.tv slash go. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, if you're on mobile, you can't click their names and follow them, but you can click on that, give him a follow, and come right back. Unico, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. How are you? How are you? That's the more important question. Um, Dino, I'm not sure. They should do that. They should allow you to do that. That would be really cool. That's actually a good idea. I'll, uh, I'll message Twitch staff about that. I'll message Twitch staff about that. Oh my gosh, I'm already having so much fun here in the water. I need to get to the white areas. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's see. Is it dry? Yeah, it's dry. A little hungry. Hungry for inspiration. <laughs> a care box. How you doing a care box? <laughs> Thank you guys for all being here. You guys are all incredible. Incredible. All right, so we have our, our, our mountains here. When this dries a little more, the purple's still wet, I'll fill all of this in with yellow. Let's do something here. I think we're gonna fill this with like a purple or something here. Something here now. So I got blue, I got red, let's make some purple. Don't forget to make the happy tray. So Dino, we're gonna get to that, but I would always recommend starting with background first. I should have started with the sky first if I was actually heeding my advice. And then you go into the details. So put some blue paint on here. Blue paint. And I like starting off with the cheap paint. Big tub of paint you can get for like 12 or 15 dollars at your local art store. I bought these on Amazon. And we'll mix like a purple. I'm just going to fill this with the purple. Oh. It's kind of turning into a volcano here. Do you guys have any other recommendations for stuff we can put in here besides the trees? <laughs> Kiwi comes in here. How you doing, Kiwi? How to art. Art is all about expressing yourself, staying positive, and it's not about the finished product. It's about each brush stroke and making each brush stroke fun and rewarding. And if you don't feel like it's fun or rewarding, 
you just cover it up with another brush stroke. That's what's amazing about art and painting. A Sasquatch Easter egg. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we'll have a little Sasquatch in the bushes or something like that. Orange reddish grass. Ooh, I like that. I really like that idea. Uh, maybe one. It's really good idea to use uh, warm colors uh, in the foreground because warm colors will pop out of the canvas. The cool colors will recede back into the canvas. Really good suggestion. Are the trees burned? Uh, you know, I think this is going to be kind of a dormant volcano. A dormant volcano. <laughs> Holy Edgar, Mojo RP, how are you guys doing? Thank you for being here. You guys are all incredible, incredible Stardust beings. Every day I am completely blown away by all the support you guys show me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, participating in my artistic experiments. <laughs> it's a sleeping giant, Ron Freeman, a sleeping volcano. Ooh, I kind of like this. So let me show you guys a really cool technique I'm accidentally using. Oh, random to Huskies getting out of here. I hope your foot feels better. Enjoy, enjoy. And don't forget to put on a smile, even if you're unfortunately having a broken leg. All right, so let me show you guys a really fun technique. Uh, a lot of the time people mix their paints and then apply it to the canvas. Another really fun thing you can do is don't mix your paints. See how there's red, there's blue. Actually, that side's better. There's red on one side of the brush, blue on the other. You can mix that right on the canvas. And you can even flip it upside down to get a nicer layer of paint on there. And MSY, yeah, that's what we've got to see this mountain right there. We're, we haven't filled it in quite yet, but we're prepared. Katie. Kate Christine. Kate Christine, thank you so much for that follow. You are an incredible Christine made of stardust. And in the Massiverse, we have the power to create anything. Anything. Because you are now a part of a collective consciousness here on Twitch, where you can tap into the power of all of our minds to make whatever you want. Oh, it's your, oh, it's your whole leg. Oh, random dusky. I'm so sorry, my man. Feel better. I hope it gets better soon. Max Brown. Max Brown, thank you so much for that follow, you amazing Stardust Meatball. Really appreciate all the support you guys are showing me. Trying to bring a, a little smile to your face, trying to channel a little of that Bob Ross vibes. And Kiwi, no, you are my hero, Kiwi. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Ooh, birds! Birds, we should totally add wildlife. Uh, you know what I realized? I did this landscape project for um, like eight months. That's where I got my tennis elbow. Um, I did a project for eight months, and in my eight months of painting, I didn't paint a single animal. So Ron Freeman, we're gonna add some birds in the in the sky. This is a place of positive creativity, so please make sure you read the rules before posting anything here. You will get timed out if you break the rules, and if you continue to break them, you'll just get banned with lasers and explosions. Thank you guys for always being positive, always being amazing Stardust Meatballs. I am trying to make a little different kind of place here on Twitch accessible to anyone. So please, please read the rules before you post. <laughs> Put Nessie. Ooh, we could have like, uh, yeah, like a, a Nessie in here. Oh, Scythe, thank you so much. Here, we'll give you a close-up because it actually looks really cool close-up. I actually really like it. Look at how pretty that is. We're gonna do that all over the canvas uh, where the light is reflecting on it and then I'm gonna add those same uh, horizontal strokes to simulate water uh, where the shadows are. Maybe one reminded me, don't forget about reflections. The area underneath here is gonna be kind of in shadow. It's gonna be very watery. 
Uh, let me mute the microphone. I might hit it here. Muting. Smacky Doodle, I love working on large canvases. This is a 30 inches by 40 inch canvas. So what a lot of my work has been uh, recently is on these canvases. I like working big because then you don't have to worry about all the details right off the bat. You can just paint away, you can throw paint on here. Yeah, Ron Freeman, and it's also, uh, these paints are uh, golden acrylic here are these guys golden acrylic they're very buttery they have a, an amazing texture to them oh holy edgar thank you guys so much so ha here how about this let's try a little experiment here if you guys what do you guys think about this um with a number out of a number not 10 out of 10 or 8 out of 8 you need to say like four out of five doctors agree or eight out of six cookies agree. <laughs> Improper fractions are okay too. Maybe it's a, an 11 out of 10. What do you guys think so far? What do you guys think out there? What does the collective consciousness on Twitch think? Sig, thank you for those kind words and hello, how are you doing? Hey guy, you have paint on my face. Yeah, I do. That's all because of you guys. Fancy Schmancy TV donated ten dollars. Over nine thousand Morbs. Morbs, that is perfect. <laughs> Morbs knows all about the rating system here in the Massiverse. It's not based on the traditional ten out of ten or five stars. We use non-traditional methods. Nine out of eleven. <laughs> So we're almost there. Why did that get, uh, why are those getting deleted? Who's deleting these? Uh, Alien, if that's you, don't worry about them. Um, it's, it, that's not, that's fine. It's, it's just a number. They weren't referencing anything. Oh, I guess they were referencing something. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think that. Thank you for being a moderator in my chat, Alien. By the way, I really appreciate you being here. You are my barrier between the trolls. Uh, make sure you, you uh, don't time them out for too long. You can just give them a little warning for that. All right, so we're going with the, the shadows in here. 13 out of 37. But what are the 37? You didn't say. You didn't say. Oh, Alien, thank you very much. So we do try to keep it appropriate. I guess that was a political statement. <laughs> Maybe one, you are always welcome here in the Massiverse. As well as, who else? Kiwi, you guys are always welcome. Just try to keep politics and keep it positive. You want to see what the horizontal line, so this guy right here, is this the one you're talking about? He's holding off, Ron Freeman's holding off. Happy little tree warning. <laughs> All right, gonna darken that up a little bit. And I really hope the guy who's playing piano comes in here. Dirt McGirl, oh, Dirt McGirt, thank you so much for being here. You are an incredible meatball made of stardust. Welcome to the Massiverse. This is a place of positive creativity where I show you guys that anyone can do it. Anyone can make art. All you have to do is stay positive and give it a try and keep practicing. Today we're doing Tuesday tutorials, so please feel free to ask me any questions on how to art. Uh, yeah, Max Brown. I just, I just didn't think about that. <laughs> Did not think about that at all. Smacky Doodle. Oh, thank you for being here. Have a great day, you amazing meatball made of stardust. I hope you're doing great out there. 
13 of 37 happy nerds playing old school Zelda, yes. That is the proper way to rate things in the Massiverse. That is the proper way to rate things here. We don't rate with stars. <laughs> Ricochet Hex, welcome back. Kawatashun, Kawatashun, I did go to uh, art school in college. I also took some classes uh, at junior college. But I feel like uh, I learned the most when I finally got out of school and I was able to experience and play uh, how I wanted to. I actually took a break for a few years after college because I got so burnt out. But I'm back with a vengeance. <laughs> Mick Lynx, you want to live here? Should we make a house in this for you guys to live in? We could do that. We could do that. All right. So what I'm doing with the water is I always want to stay consistent with the texture, with the strokes. So what I'm doing is I'm making these really smooth horizontal strokes to show a very calm lake. And also with the reflection, I don't want to just make a, a stroke like that uh, for the reflection. What you want is you want to make it out of all of the waves. So you're painting the top surface and you don't want to make it an exact copy of that mountain. So the edges are going to be faded. It's going to be a different shape, but it's going to be similar, very similar, but it's going to be different because it's made up of all of those waves, all of the horizontal strokes. A little cottage for the meatballs. Oh, that sounds great, Undead Army Gamer. Where should we put the cottage? You know what? I think I want to put a cottage like right here, like a little cabin cabin in the woods right there <laughs> and stardust don't forget the stardust there's always stardust in everything in everything that is stardust so I'm gonna get some red kind of reflection in here and then I'm gonna use maybe a violet because some of this is, is gonna pick up the light so I'm gonna use like a violet color let's try it out let's try it out experiment like a blue, a blue violet. And I'm still using my big brush. I haven't gone to the detail brush yet. The DX racer post. What was the DX racer post? Are you talking about in the subreddit? Did, did something get removed in the subreddit? If, if something ever does get removed in the subreddit, um, I, I would hope the moderators would give you a reason, give you a message and a reason why. And same within here, if, you, if your message ever gets removed, I always try to give you an explanation of why it was removed. No, it wasn't me. Uh, maybe it was proper artist? I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, I'll take a look at that. Uh, if you could actually uh, tweet me or private message me, I'd love to take a look at that off the stream. Because I we, we don't remove posts without telling why. Alright, so we have some reflection in there. We still want that kind of dark mass of that shadow, the reflection. No, it wasn't you. Interesting. Oh, maybe he removed it. Maybe he removed it. Uncle Ben's, Uncle Ben's, you are an incredible meatball made of stardust. Thank you so much. Oh, a care box. Can you can you uh, private message me that? Please, please private message me that. That is incredible. I really need to set that up for uh, for my nightbot. That you are you're such a great meatball of made of stardust, you incredible human. Maybe it was global band. Huh. I'll I'll definitely take a look into it, uh, Ricochet Hex. Please remember remind me. Remind me to do so. And today is all about you guys, all about teaching you guys how to do art. So if you guys have any questions, right now I'm kind of working on these very consistent horizontal strokes to get the surface of the water to really pop out. I'm going to bring some of this muted blue over here to really get that the highlights to contrast. And don't worry about things since it's the beginning here. 
Uh, what's wrong, Carebox? What's wrong? Okay, okay, I will definitely remember to do that, Ricochet X. Definitely remember to do that. So what I was saying, don't worry about the lines you have here, especially if you work in the background and work forward. So what I'm going to do here is I'm not even going to worry about that line I already made, but I do want to work on the water first since the water is going to be behind that mountain. So I'm not worried about that line. We can always fix it later. Seven out of ten, subject to change. <laughs> Thank you, Fran Freeman. <laughs> Seven out of ten Kappas agree. Holy Edgar, thank you for being here. I hope you have a great day. You are an incredible being made of star matter, don't you forget. Oh, interesting. Maybe Ricochet Hex, maybe maybe it was banned for a reason then. DX Racer. Oh, DX Racer, the uh, the chair. Yeah, we don't want we don't want that in our in our Twitch channel, but I will take a look at it and see why it was banned. Oh, a care box. We're talking about um, we're talking about on the subreddit. We're talking about on the subreddit. Nightbot is very wacky today, so I, I do apologize, DX Racer, but I did see it. I have better Twitch TV, so I, I can see uh, what people post. All right, how's it looking? All right, we got all these little strokes that are making up the waves. We're going to go on top with uh, a more detailed brush to get all of the, the specular highlights, all of those nice highlights on, on the waves. You can have two sticky posts. Oh, awesome, Ricochet Hex. Um, I will definitely sticky um, th probably the rules or something else. I'll, I'm going to take a look because we do have a lot of stuff I want to post on the stickies. MK Durr, how you doing, you amazing meatball made of stardust? I do not have a Patreon. Um, I mean, I do have a Patreon, Fifty Shades of Josh, but um, I haven't really updated it or done anything with it. You can check my website. For all the links to like my Etsy and my Redbubble, I hope you're doing well. Fifty Shades of of Meatball. <laughs> it's going up, Ron Freeman. It's going up. <laughs> Seven and a half Kappas agree. <laughs> I really hope this guy who's playing piano right here shows up. We're going to have some Fra Gen hype. Oh, there he is again. Great. And I hope Cannon Bear shows up as well. I have a few words I'd, I would love to share with Cannon Bear and share with you guys. So I, I hope he shows up at some point. Some lovely words. So if you want a faded stroke, all you have to do is just don't press as hard with your brush. And you can also make sure that your brush doesn't have that much paint on it. There's not a big glob of paint on here. It's really on the, the lower part of the head of the brush that I have all that paint. So if I do a light stroke, it'll kind of fade with all the paint that's there. And you, you can take your time with it, make it slow. Take it slow. Make it happen. Power overwhelming. We could cheat. We could cheat a little bit. Power overwhelming. <laughs> uh, Kiwi, uh, I, I don't actually love meatballs a lot, but um, I mean, I do like them. But I guess that's just the phrase that has kind of developed over time. <laughs> Our mod news. Okay, great idea. Great idea, Rickshay Hex. Uh, Fifty Shades of Josh, I have been painting for probably, let's say, total time, probably about 
four years, but that's been interspersed between um, classes and, and college. And I've only started doing it as my profession in the last uh, year. It all started with a Kickstarter back in November for all the landscapes you see, those two landscapes right there, as well as like a hundred sketches and uh, 13 finished landscapes. That was the Kickstarter I did that started everything out that helped me afford all of these materials, all the painting supplies. All right, I'm gonna take a, a step back. Always take a step back from your work. Helps in two ways. You, you get to relax your arms. Oh, by the way, maybe one. I never explained uh, how I got the tennis elbow. Uh, I used to work in a warehouse lifting a lot of stuff. That's how I first injured it, and then I re-injured it with that Kickstarter. Because I was painting too much. Doing too much painting. All right, take a step back. That's what I was going to do. Take a step back. So what I'm going to do, we're going to fill up the white space and go from there. So I'm going to use a tiny brush here so I can get in into the little, little spots here, the little grooves. And since it's blue, I don't want to, I don't want to paint over it, otherwise it'll make green. But if it does happen, that's fine. We can always take that purple paint and bring it up just a little bit, cover it up. If you guys are new here, I am Monkey on Strike or Moss. Please feel free to ask me any questions. Today is a, a special day. It's called Tuesday Tutorials. So if you have any questions about the artistic process, whether it's drawing, painting, or whatever, please feel free to ask. It's a little different than Feedback Friday. Feedback Friday is where you share your work and I give critiques inspiration and blatant praise to you guys but they're similar in that I'm trying to show you that anyone can do it anyone can have fun with it uh, how much the materials generally cost um, the paints are gonna be the most expensive part the next most expensive part is gonna be the canvas depending on how high quality you want to um, buy the materials this canvas was probably about 15 bucks uh, the brushes, this brush I'm using right now is about a dollar fifty, two dollars. You can buy them in brush packs. And the paints I'm using, these are these are a little expensive, but they are nice. Maybe about fifteen dollars for this. But what I would recommend if you're starting out, go for these ones. Go for the studio acrylic. Studio acrylics are basically a lower quality, but they're just as good. They're just as good. And you can always go over the top with the more expensive paints, which is what I'm doing here. Painting on the top left, that one right there? Is that the one you're asking about, Kiwi? That's from my Project Interval series. The Kickstarter I did. It's just a landscape. Oh, that's a good idea, Ricochet Hex. That's probably a good idea. Uh, where'd the music go? All right, I'm going to blend the yellow up a little more here. Blend it just a tiny bit more. Maybe have it kind of splotchy. We're going to have it splotchy yellow. Splotches, splotches of yellow. Okay. <laughs> I can imagine Alien Ton X. You have some amazing, you have an amazing collection of perlers. <laughs> Oh, what is the, um, okay. How much money worth of paint goes into a painting like this? Oh man, that's hard to say. Out of this tube that's 15 bucks, I might use this. I might use, um, maybe a, less than a dollar's worth of this amount of paint of each tube. So maybe like five bucks, maybe like five bucks per painting. I don't know. It's like big guess because I, it depends on the painting. For like my kappa and my portraits, I keep layering them up. So there's a lot more paint on those than like my landscapes. All right. 
so we're going in here with some details now that there's no more white on the canvas we can go over the top with all the details the smaller brushes really get these ridges of the trees to pop out <laughs> you get such an amazing beard actually it's uh it's something I'm, I'm growing this month it's actually the first time i've really grown a beard I've, I've grown it before but this is this is one i'm gonna try to grow all month to see how how good i can grow it i feel like i could do better than anything else over here but just How's this? Is this a better beard? This is my Bob Ross beard. <laughs> I'm working on it. It's a work in progress, guys. Like everything I do, it's a work in progress. <laughs> Steel Zor, how are you doing, you amazing, amazing Stardust Meatball, you? Bring some blues in here. And I'm not worried about the the details. I'm, I'm, I'm using a smaller brush. I'm not too worried about the details right now. We're always going to go on top and add those later. There are no limits here. Steel Zoe, you are an incredible meatball made of stardust. Thank you for being here today. I am Monkey on Strike or Bob Moss. Do you have any questions about art? painting or life in general that's what I'm here for all right I'm gonna use a different uh, paint here blue fluent print use this blue instead of the other blue this is a nicer blue a thicker blue back and forth back and forth and forth Layer after layer after layer. It's the Kellys. It's the Meatballs. Thank you so much for that follow. You incredible Stardust Meatball you. Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are incredible. You guys have absolutely changed my life. Uh, for the better, of course. You guys are always inspiring me to come back on here every day at noon Pacific to show you guys that anyone can do this. You can have fun with art. It doesn't have to be a chore. It doesn't have to be work, and anyone can do it. Oh, it got nice and quiet in here with that, the piano music. This is uh, Frogen86. Let me post a link in chat. I do have Twitter. I do have Twitter. Twitch. So guys, I was hoping that Fra Zhen would show up today, but we can get some Fra Zhen hype. He is who I am listening to, an amazing pianist who does request. He does, um, he also does this really nice jazz, modern jazz style of piano, really cool stuff. Please check him out. If he does show up, we're going to have to hype it up a lot. False Smile. How are you doing, False Smile? In the Massiverse, we're going to turn that false smile into a true smile. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Ron Freeman, I'm from the Bay Area. The Bay Area. Not in the Bay, but near it. Very close. Oh, it's the Kellys. Thank you for being here. I'm really happy you're enjoying yourself. The fact that you guys are returning that positivity means that I'm, I'm, you're just fueling the fire. Fueling the fire in me to show you guys that anyone can do it. All right, so we're doing some trees here. I'm just working on the, the masses of shadow that I put in there, and I'm adding trees on top. And what's really nice about painting is maybe that blob looks really big, very blobular. We can go over the top with the purple and kind of cut into it to make it smaller. And Ron Freeman, I am going to TwitchCon. I just got my tickets a few weeks ago. I am so excited. I am so, so excited. <laughs> yeah, I live in the Bay, Alien. I live under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> Dino, welcome back. Technotron, how you doing, Technotron? We have some amazing broadcasters in here. Please give Technotron a follow, Alien Ton X. And if you're a broadcaster that's lurking out there, say hello in chat. We're going to give you a shout out 
to all of the broadcasters out there, especially if you're a creative broadcaster or a music broadcaster or a broadcaster that I watch. So raise those hands up in chat if you're a broadcaster and give anyone who raises their hand a follow. Follows are free. You can always unfollow them, but check them out. We have some incredible people on Twitch. All right, we're going to work in some of the details here. Technotron, no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here, hanging out with me, putting up with my artistic experiment here on Twitch. All right. So the nice thing about, um, about paint is that you can always go over the edges of it. So let's find a blob. So here's a blob right there. That doesn't read as much of a shadow, neither does this one. But what you can do is you can go over the top since it is dry, or mostly dry, and kind of give it that organic feel. Because what it looked like before was a brush stroke. What we can do is kind of fade that brush stroke and layer things, kind of cut it out. Technotron, I really did, I really did. Very unique. I put it on the mosaic on my Twitter. So if you guys want to check out what the um, what the Kappa's looking at, we have some typographic Kappa's now from Technotron. We have Dig Lebowski's uh, neon colored uh, Kappa. We have there. We have so many. I can't list them all. But please check out my Twitter. It's at Monkey on Strike. Oh, uh, at Monkey on Strike. Someone was asking me uh, what my Twitter was. Same thing as my username. Oh, thank you, Dino. Thank you for those kind words. You are so, so kind to me. I just try to reciprocate and give that positivity right back. Oops. I'm breaking things. Breaking things. <laughs> Samanos. Samanos, thank you so much for that follow. You are an incredible meatball made of stardust. Hello, how are you doing today, Samanos? We're doing Tuesday tutorial. I'm showing you how to do art. If you have any questions about the artistic process, whether it's drawing, painting, sculpting, or maybe you just have a question about life, that's what I'm here for. And these are the happy little trees. That's right, Dino. These are the happy little trees. I'm going to work on this one, this mountain in the foreground first, and then I'll do the ones in the background. The trees are going to be smaller as they fade into the distance. Is that an ice volcano? <laughs> I know it's kind of got like the, the blues and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna add reds and oranges from the sky onto the mountain as well as the reflection down here. I'm doing kind of a cold underpainting first and then we're gonna add all the colors that are in the sky there as they bounce off all of the surfaces around here. So I know it looks really cold right now. You have a virus! How are you doing you amazing virus meatball made of stardust? Let's see here. We'll, we'll cut up this one a little bit. So I'm trying to get it to look a little more organic here. So I'm taking the, the large brush strokes I made earlier, kind of breaking them up into smaller shapes. Samanos, you have always been a meatball. Your, your skin is made of water surrounding meat and all of the molecules in your body were forged in the center of a sun as it exploded at the end of its life. So you are a meatball, whether or not you want to admit it. You can deny it all you want. You can call yourself a tofu ball of stardust. I'm okay with that. As long as you acknowledge the fact that you were forged in the center of a sun to be here today. <gasps> Poker Ranger! Everybody, let's get some Poker Ranger hype in the chat. Poker Ranger is an amazing broadcaster. How are you doing, Poker Ranger? 
His partnership is just around the corner, so if you give him a follow, he's going to have a partnership button any day now. The entire creative community is waiting for it. <laughs> Unico, speaking of amazing broadcasters, give him a follow. He raided me earlier. You are so awesome. And thank you for those kind words. Not only are you awesome, but you're sharing kind words with me. A meat bag. Actually, Ron Freeman, that's where I got the inspiration from Bender. I got the inspiration from Bender, but I felt like meat bag was kind of like a curse. So I wanted to make it a little more goofy. I was just talking to a representative and I was given an email to contact the deals posting such links and partnerships. Awesome, Ricochet Hex. That's awesome. We are we are moving up in the world here. <laughs> Poker Ranger, you're hanging out on the beach. What a day to hang out on the beach. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, here's Proper Artist too. Give Proper Artist a follow. He does oils on Twitch. If I should ask about a partnership, um, let's we'll we'll discuss that Ricochet Hex. We'll discuss it off stream. Um. I feel like we don't want to do the partnership quite yet, but we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Uh, Salmonos, I, I try not to work from still life. I really work from my imagination a lot of the time. I can do it. I, I just find like about 30 minutes into the still life, I get bored. Ah, uh, yes, we have our first tutorial request. How to draw a nose. So we're going to take a little break here, and I'm going to come back with a little tutorial on how to draw a nose. Uh, let me see. I'm going to say here. I'll use a scrap. Use a scrap piece of paper and some tape. Where's my tape? So today is Tuesday tutorial day, so please feel free to share any questions you have about art, the artistic process, or life in general. Nine 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 lol, you are awesome. Thank you for being here. It's the Kellys. Thank you for being here. You guys are all incredible, incredible meatballs made of stardust. A uh, ricochet hex. Actually, if you could private message me, I have a terrible memory. I'll probably forget, so if you private message me, I'll remember. <laughs> All right, before I do the nose tutorial, I'm gonna do a little stretch here for my arms, my manos. All right, Samanos. Samanos, are you ready for a little tutorial? Oh, let me get a pen. So with anything, with drawing, with painting, you always want to start simple. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll... So we're starting with a nose. That's what we're going to talk about right now. You want to start simple when you're doing anything. So simplify shapes. The, simple, the simplest shape you can do is a cube or a, or a sphere. I like to start out with a cube. Dracotar, how are you doing? We're doing a, a tutorial on noses right now. Sem... Sam, Sam something asked it. Sam, Samosa? Samosa asked. So if we have a head, this is how you can get a really simple shape of the head in here. One thing with all of the features on the face, all of the features are going to line up along the face here. So eyes are going to be that. That's going to be the same line for the nose and the same line for the mouth. So they're all going to align to that same plane of the face. Uh, the way Rembrandt, uh, Rembrandt, Samanos, okay, there we go, awesome. So the way Rembrandt did it, it's called a Rembrandt circle. You do a circle, oh no, stay up there. You can't put tape on paint, apparently. So Rembrandt did it this way, he would do a circle, do the jawline, and then he would draw this line down the rest, down this face to make that plane. 
and then you could do the really simplified um, lines to get where those uh, features are going to be on the face. But specifically for the nose, it's going to be a really simple shape of a, a kind of a kind of a shape like that is going to how you're going to start off the nose. And for the flare of the nose, the nostril part, you can make you can start off with the, the blocky lines and then go in there with the nostrils here. Make it like that. But the basic shape of the nose is going to be kind of a rectangular top part here with the bulb of the nose right there and the flares are going to come out from the sides here. This is from like a three quarter view. If you were going to do a side view of the face, you'll have the eye, the nose and the mouth and it's going to be a really simple triangle as it comes over the face like that. The, the key feature you want to emphasize is this part. Some people have it bigger, some people have it smaller, but the bridge of the nose is going to give it that dimensionality and you want to make sure it's the correct direction. If I was going to come over here and make it the wrong direction or maybe a different angle from the face, it's not going to look right. It's going to look kind of like a Picasso and that's fine, but you just have to know, you just have to know that. Saminos, if you have any questions about it, please let me know. But basically, you start simple, work into the details as you progress along the drawing. <laughs> this is so awesome. No, you are awesome, Saminos. Thank you for asking that question. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to ask. We're doing Tuesday tutorial here, so you can ask anything you want. I was about halfway down the sphere. So this is a good thing to talk about too. Proportions. Let me get another piece of tape. Mm -hmm. Another piece of tape, yeah. So if you've ever seen, if you've ever seen an artist doing this, using their paintbrush, measuring things with their thumb, what they're doing is they're taking the parts of the face. Let me show you. So they'll measure like from the chin to the nose. We'll mark it by holding it right there. That distance is going to be the same distance from here to here. That's the same distance. And it's also going to be the same distance to the top of my skull. So that it's basically three sections of the face. It's going to be divided up in thirds. So what that's going to look like. I've lost my pen. I need another one. Good evening, Refuse to Lose. Oh, by the way, Refuse to Lose sent me an email, uh, sent me a private message. He wants to do uh, like an auction. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do another giveaway at the end of the stream here in about 30 minutes in Refuse to Lose's honor. So please, let's get some hype for Refuse to Lose. He was so kind to give his giveaway away to you guys today. So in his honor, we're going to do a giveaway. All right. So for your face, we're going to do that simple rectangle again, and I'm going to show you guys how it divides up. Basically, this part of the face, this part of the face, and the top part are all going to be kind of divided up into three. So there's the forehead, there's the nose, and there's the chin. So we have one, two, and then three. Actually, I did it a little bit too big here, but that's fine. But what it's going to be, you can use parts of the face to measure the other parts of the face. That's why an artist is always doing this kind of using their thumb to measure and then moving up to see if it's the right size. And that's basically what you can do. You can also do it with the eyes too, if you wanted to measure the eyes. The eye width, here, let me try to get face on here. The eye width is gonna have one eye in between and you wanna make sure that they're all the same size. Creeper Web, we're doing some tutorials today. Goodbye, Samanosa, Samanos. Thank you for being here. If you guys have any questions about art, painting, or life in general, please feel free to ask. I'm going to go ahead and get back to the landscape. If you guys have any questions about this, please feel free. <laughs> what? Uh, I've, I have only had one art teacher uh, in my entire art career that was a positive person and also a great teacher. 
there's been a mix of both a great teacher and negative um a bad teacher but positive but the, I, I feel like those two traits being able to teach and being able to stay positive that's what's important about being a teacher and also not just going over and doing the work without telling you it's all about talking it through Absolutely. Um, I'm going to ship internationally. Unfortunately, for all of you guys who have won prints like Dino, I know you've won a print. Um, all of you guys who have gotten prints, I'm going to do it by the end of July. I'm going to ship them out by the end of July. Because unfortunately, I ran out of a bunch of the prints and um, I need this, the shipping supplies. All right, what are we working on? You know what? I don't like those blue trees. Let me see. Let me see here. Okay, what we're going to do with those blue trees, we're going to do those same blue trees in the back, but then we're going to turn these purple. Kind of darken them up a little bit. And one thing I'm going to try to do is as I go into the back, the strokes are going to be smaller, so I'm actually going to change up my brush. <laughs> Swift Blue, how are you doing? Um, no, I'm going to ship it by the end of July. I have no idea how long it's going to take to get overseas, uh, but I will let you guys know when I do ship it. It'll be, uh, I have an order coming in July 22nd uh, with all of the prints that I'm going to be shipping out. And then sometime after that, before the end of July, I will ship them out. I'll let you guys know when they go out. What, what burger? It's, it's amazing when you have a passion for something and you share that with people, how much, it's so much easier to understand, it's so much easier to jump in. So you really have to be passionate about it. And a lot of, a lot of art teachers probably have either lost their passion or aren't able, aren't able to share it. So passion is, is, is an amazing tool for teaching. It not only gets you kind of hyped up and excited, but it, it's also a great way to see like what's possible. Like, if if he, if he's can do it, I can do it. That's the kind of thing I want to show you guys. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's the the postcard is is pretty small. Uh, do I have one here? Yeah. They're bigger than normal postcards. Ooh, is that picking up? Ooh, I bet that sounds pretty cool. They're normal postcards. I'll probably draw on the back, do a little doodle for you. So if you guys stick around for another um, 18 minutes, we're going to do a giveaway in honor of, um, hang on, I forgot his name, in honor of Refuse to Lose. Refused to lose uh, one yesterday, but he wants to share the love with you guys. So we're doing a giveaway in his honor today. <laughs> Swift Blue, we only have 18 minutes left, so if you stick around, it's not that long. Unfortunately, my broadcasts are short but sweet because of my arms. I'm, I'm going to try to get better one of these days so I can do longer broadcasts, but that would require not painting for a little while, so... I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put some blue in this, the shadows here, really give the sense of the trees. The t happy trees. <laughs> uh, le <laughs> Creeper web, let me, let me, uh, let me redefine what I meant um, by when I say sorry, I want to do a giveaway. What I meant is apologizing for something that I create or apologizing for um, my artwork. So it's not saying just sorry or saying an apology. It's specifically saying like, oh, sorry, I'm going to do this or like, sorry, I like blue or something like that. So it's a very specific apology. <laughs> uh, Dino, absolutely. I'll sign it. Absolutely. I even have a wax, a wax seal that I could, I, I'm thinking about putting on a few of them uh, for special fun stuffs. I have a custom uh, wax seal that I can put on it. <laughs> and by the way, if you guys follow me, um, I host 
some amazing artists. A bunch of them are here today hanging out with us. So even if you don't like me, if you follow me, you're going to find some incredible artists here on Twitch. Kiwi911, 2, 3, U, 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 R, 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 N, 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 O, M, 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 Z, 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 Star, 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 Dust, 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 Meet, 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 Bob, Bob. Thank you for that follow. Yeah, the, the, I do agree with you, Freeman. Thank you for the positive words. Oh my gosh, talking about awesome broadcasters. How are you doing, Inkwon? How are you doing, Inkwon? Inkwon is behind me here. Can you see him right there? How are you doing, Inkwon? Give him a follow. He is a great broadcaster with an awesome community. He's a tattoo artist that works with drawing and digital work on stream. What's up, Black Sups? How you doing? Not much in the in the Massiverse, just an amazing day to be alive. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Let's get some Ink One hype in the chat. What an incredible dude. Black Subs. Black Subs, you are an incredible meatball made of stardust. Thank you so much for being here today in the Massiverse. I really appreciate your presence, your positive presence here in the Massiverse. I'm trying to create a little different place here on Twitch. We don't swear, we don't talk about lewd content. We talk about the art. Yellow orange outline to the mountains. Absolutely, maybe one. One thing I'm gonna do here is I'm doing a very cold outline and I would always recommend to be informed about your light source. So the light source is gonna be yellow with some orange in it. So all that yellow and orange light is going to cast on the, the water here. We're going to cast a little of that light on the edges of the mountain. I'm doing kind of a cold underpainting right now. And then we'll go on top and add those colors. <laughs> of Larry David. He's the guy from... Um, what is that? It's, he's the guy from the TV show on HBO. <laughs> oh wait no 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 we're doing purple on here not on the background there we go there we go one thing i like to do with my paintings is i like to have blue as it fades into the background and use warmer colors in the front maybe one suggested an awesome idea of having like orange uh bushes and stuff down here so we're gonna put those on there it's gonna give a um, the feel that it's, uh, the things that are closer to you are going to be really warm. Everything that fades in the distance is going to be blue. It's a, it's color theory. It's a combination of color theory and perspective. Welcome back, proper artists. Speaking of awesome broadcasters, give proper artists a follow. All right, I'm going to take a break here. You know what? I think I'm going to keep working. I think I'm going to keep working today. My hands are feeling pretty good. Just give them a little shake. Make sure to take breaks. And always make sure to correct your posture. I always find I do this kind of posture when I'm painting. Just open up your arms like that. Put them down to your sides and roll your shoulders back. And don't forget to breathe. Shake it out. Shake out all that lactic acid. Uh, thank you, maybe one. Yeah, I'll check it out after the stream. So for that giveaway, let's say uh, we have 10 minutes left till 2 o'clock. Uh, in 10 minutes, we're going to do the giveaway. It might not be the end of the stream, but in 10 minutes, we'll do the giveaway. All right, shaking that out. Oh, also, water. Water. Cheers to all you meatballs out there. Thank you so much for being out there, hanging out with me today. Don't forget to drink your water. <laughs> Dino, thank you so much. All I need is those positive words. That's all I need from you guys.
Okay, so a few things that we want to do here. A few things we want to do here. I want to kind of break up this mass of shadow with a few of these areas. So I'll, I'll bring some of those areas in here. We're going to bring some of these darker shadows onto this side right there. We're going to do some cloud effects from the volcano. Some clouds up here, some birds. We'll finish with the reflection. Wow, we've got a lot to do on this. Just shake it out. Just shake it out. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Oh no, what are you doing, computer? Come back. There we go. All right, so let's finish these trees up. Just add a little more shadow into the trees here. I'm going to make this part of the volcano, so we'll darken that up. Darken that up. It's, it's a, a mess right now. That's fine. We'll fix it when it dries, when we go into the details. And let me show you guys a really cool trick for getting clean lines with the flat head brushes. If I make a stroke like this, if I'm going to make a stroke like this with all of the bristles kind of working individually, it's going to be a, a ghost kind of line, an ethereal kind of line. If I just turn it, you just turn it like that, all the bristles are going to work together to make that really clean line. Arkan. Arkin, thank you so much for that follow, you amazing Stardust Meatball. Together in the Massiverse, we can create anything with our amalgam of the consciousness. Thank you so much for being here in the Massiverse today. <laughs> Swift Blue, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this in 10 minutes. I'm, I'm feeling okay today. My arms are feeling pretty good today, so I think I might go a little longer. But we are going to do the giveaway here in 8 minutes. Oh no, Unico, did your did your stream did your stream go down? Oh you almost fried your PC. Oh no. Oh man. Sorry to hear that. Technology is a is a, a fickle friend. Alright, there's still some white in here. There's still white on this canvas? Let's get rid of the white. That should have been the first thing that I got rid of. There's still some white down here on the bottom. We're gonna get rid of all that white. Uh, wrong color. That's fine though. So we'll get some shadows in here. I was talking about um, something I called yesterday the snow globe effect. The snow globe effect is something I've kind of made up. It's basically where you focus your attention inside the invisible border of your canvas. You want to make the illusion that it's the uh, the canvas or the um, the image goes beyond the canvas. Grimmy, Grimmy69, thank you for that follow. You amazing Stardust Meatball. So the snow globe effect is where you focus your attention on the center. A really easy way to get out of that is just make your strokes go off the page. Give the illusion that there's this expansive canvas that goes beyond. It's also a compositional device. Your eye is going to float off the page and come and come back on. Going to make your eye really move around. Rarar Rachel, how you doing you amazing Stardust Meatball? Actually Nessie was, uh, was suggested. I might think about it. I might think about it. What do you guys think? Uh, we're going to put some birds in here. Should we put Nessie in here? What do you guys think? We do need some animals in this, so we're going to put some birds in the sky when we do the clouds. We're also going to add more reflection, more detail. Like Flung in your face. Thank you so much for that follow, you incredible meatball made of stardust. Is Wario an animal? <laughs> Wario is... I, I don't even know what Wario is. Oh, that's right, the Sasquatch. So we'll do... We'll do the Sasquatch right here. We'll have some bushes in shadow right here, and then I'll draw a little Sasquatch kind of doing this. <laughs> Grab it, lift it, lift it. 
Raw Rachel, thank you so much for being here. You are a happy tree made of stardust. Mick, Mick Titty Twister, thank you for those kind words. And Raw Rachel, thank you so much for being here, bringing that positivity. Uh, Mick Titty Twister, can I think of a new name for you, uh, a nickname? I'd rather not say Titty all the time. So let me know what I can say to, to make you feel welcome, because I do want to address you, but I feel like every time I say Titty, I feel like I'm swearing. So please let me know what I can call you besides that. <laughs> oh, Alien Ton, I would absolutely love to do that. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> I'll just call you Twister. How about uh, Mick Twister? How about that, Mick Twister? I do try to make this a, a different place on Twitch, so I don't swear. And if I do, I have to do a giveaway. Speaking of giveaways, we have five minutes until the next one. Five minutes until we do the next one. I hope you guys are doing well out there in Twitch land. Thank you guys so much for being here. Participating in my art experiments. Like yesterday we did, um, we did a, uh, I don't even know what to say. It is. It's an Illuminati painting that you guys pick the colors, you pick the shapes, you pick the, uh, subject matter. Let me show you guys actually. It turned out really cool. If you guys didn't see this one from yesterday, we had a lot of fun doing this. A lot of awesome, awesome inspiration from you guys. Raw Rachel, I am 26 million years old. Oh no, Swift Blue! I, it should be okay. Those tablets are sealed pretty tightly. I've definitely done a lot of damage to my Intuos tablets. <laughs> uh, Creeper Web, yeah, you can definitely see my cap, but let me pull it out. Let me pull my cap out. This is the cap of Creeper Web. We're still working on it. I still want to do some stuff, make the eyes a little more reflective. Uh, I want to make the fro. He has a Bob Ross fro up here. I want to work on that. Technoxic, how you doing, Technoxic? <laughs> Rar Rachel, she's on to me, guys. She's on to me. We need to we need to cover her. We need to cover her up with uh, the Dell Illuminati. The Illuminati symbol? We don't work for the Illuminati. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Spam that Illuminati. Let's see if we can get some spam. The Illuminati spam in here. Actually, if you guys fill up the Illuminati spam in the channel, we're going to do something fun that I've never tried before. So let's see if we can get some Illuminati hype. Uh, Ron Freeman, it depends on the colors. For something like a dark, dark purple, I like to buy those. But for greens, for um, for oranges, you can mix those really easy. Do you do live from the nude old people? I I have done way too much nude old people drawing, Rar Rachel. I did way too much of that in college. I'm so done with that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Here it comes. This is the first time I've tried this. We're almost there. We're almost there. We just need a few more Illuminati. There it is. All right, guys. Let's see if I can do this. I can do it. The Illuminati. Oh, I didn't fill it in. It's actually really hard to paint on my forehead. The Illuminati is watching you. <laughs> You guys are all incredible stardust meatballs, and welcome to the Illuminati. <laughs> Alright, um, speaking of Illuminati, we have 30 seconds for the giveaway. 30 seconds here. So speaking of the Illuminati hype, let me get that giveaway going. 
We're gonna do it for a random active user. You do have to claim it in chat. Nightbot, come here, Nightbot. All right, guys, we're, we've got that hype from the Illuminati. We're going to get some hype going for the, the giveaway here in about 10 seconds. Let me get Nightbot loaded. Loaded up. Giveaway. All right. All right, random active user. Here it goes. Let's get some hype in the channel there. Guys, there's not enough hype. There was Illuminati hype, but there's not enough hype. We'll, you know what we'll do? What we'll, we'll do for the uh, the giveaway? Let's spam some Kappa. Spam some Kappa. Spam some Kappa or some doo doo doos. Yes, what burger? Doo 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 or Kappa? Doo 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 or Kappa? We're gonna get this going, and then I'm gonna do a giveaway. We're gonna do a giveaway here in a few moments. So much hype in chat. So many Kappas. All right, here we're gonna do it. Random active user. Boom. Start giveaway. Yeah, there we go. Nine, 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 nine. Lol, you have won. Claim it in chat. You need to say something in chat. What? He says, what? What? Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for hyping it up. We've got a winner here. Nine, 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 nine. Lol, you are the winner. I'll send you a private message. You're gonna get your print. You will get your print. A giant postcard. It's not one of those tiny postcards that's about this big. It's a giant postcard. Doesn't matter where you live in the world. I'm gonna figure out how to get it to you guys. Are you guys sad that you didn't win? If, you know, if we get enough hype in here, if we get enough hype in here, I'll do one more. We'll do one more. Okay, Dino. Dino has asked for it. If we get more hype in the channel here, we can do it. Do you just have those ready to go, monkey? I don't. I've actually ran out of them completely. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know if you want to do another one. More hype. We could just keep the chat going. Keep that chat going. Let's do hype. Okay, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you guys have unlocked another giveaway. There is so much love in the channel. Piper Web, uh, Piper, Raw Rachel, uh, Scythe, Maybe One, Creeper Web, Black Soup, Ice Sailor, Venus, Cardinelli, all because of this hype. We're going to do another one. We're going to do another one here. Boom. Random active user. Pipe, Piper. Piper, you are the winner. You are following this channel. You claimed it with that yay. We have two winners here today. Pipar. Let me write these down because I'm going to forget. It was Pipar. Oh my gosh. I've already forgotten the other one. Oh no. Oh no. I've forgotten the other one. Who was the other winner? Pipar. Pipar and... Um... Um... 999 Law. That's right. Pipar and 999 Law. 999 Law. Okay, cool. Perfect. <laughs> Dino, you've already asked for one. We've done one. Thank you guys so much for participating in this experiment. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to raid someone. I am probably going to end the stream here. I don't want to work too hard because of my tennis elbows. So if you guys want, we're going to do a raid. Let me know if you guys want to raid a smaller streamer or a big streamer. I like doing the smaller ones, but let me guys let let me know what you guys think. We can bring all this love to a smaller stream or make a big streamer aware of all of you amazing, amazing meatballs. Let me know. I'm gonna try to find a person right now live. Small or big? Big or small? Who are we going to raid today? Who are we gonna raid today? Who are we gonna raid? Who are we gonna raid? Who? Huh? Who are we going to raid? Alright, we. Oh, small, 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 small. Yeah. Alright, so we've got a few people here. Do you guys wanna see a painter? Do you guys wanna see a painter? 
a programmer or a cosplay artist? A painter, a programmer, or a cosplay artist? Let's get that in chat. Programmer, painter, or cosplay artist? Cosplay artiste. And, oh, you know what? We might have to, we might have to, okay, we're going to add a fourth one. Oh, there's some, there's some people for cosplay. Cosplay, um, we're going to do that because you just requested that. Draw a kitty. We're going to draw a kitty. Kitty. Painter, 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 painter. Okay, you guys. We're going to have to go raid a painter. I do want to warn you guys, this guy does swear. His chat is very fun. He's not a big streamer, but he is he is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So let's get some raid hype here. What we're going to say is this. Oh, no. We are all meatballs made of stardust, and together we can create anything. All right, guys, copy and paste that into this chat. Try it out. You want your name to change color, so copy after the ellipse. And what we're going to do is we're going to raid a painter here. He's a really cool guy. He does swear, so I, I do want to warn you guys out there if you have any little ones around. But this is going to be so fun. Don't do the dots. Copy after the slash me. And we're going to raid here in a second. Oh my gosh, so much raid hype in the chat. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Congratulations to 99999lol, to um, the other winner, which I've forgotten, but I have your name here, Pipar. That is correct. Thank you guys so much. We're going to be live tomorrow, noon Pacific. I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Enjoy the raid. Drop the heat. Here he is. Go, meatballs, go! Go, meatballs. Enjoy your day, you amazing meatballs. Have a good one. Goodbye. Goodbye.